Hello, welcome. <laughs> Hello, team. Today, I want to do a reading. Hold on. I would like to do a reading on. I want to do a reading on the dark side. I haven't watched any of BK's latest um, staging and setting sacred space as I'm talking. I didn't watch BJ's latest court thing because most of the time it just is infuriating. Um, and so I have no idea what happened. I'm guessing nothing. But um, what I want to do is set sacred space, call in the quarters. Okay, so I'm going to do a reading on the dark side. No one in, no one specifically, just the dark side as an entity itself. And just see what's going on, if their stress level is high, if they are panicking, if they're sleeping, if this is no big deal. And if we see the usual characters, then we will talk about them as they come. But for right now, let's just tap in. And first of all, I have way too many clothes on. I am so hot. Um, we'll, so I might change in a second. If you notice, that's where I went. So let's just check in on the dark side and see what's going on. I'm just gonna call it, I'm just going to set my intention to check on the dark side as an entity, like the whole, not specific characters. And I don't want, I don't care how the queen of swords and that trash bucket mother are. I mean, the big dogs, big dogs that are the, they're the ones like running it. the ones who have money invested. So we want to know how the big dogs, they happen to all be men and shocking. They also hide behind the name of God. I've called them out a billion times. Well, in season one, I called them out by their name. So we're just going, it's actually, I think season, I mean, episode three of season one. It's right before I figured out who I thought was the hot cowboy, but now he's formally known as the hot cowboy. It's the entity he's attached to. That's what I want to check. Is the higher up decision makers. And I don't care how that trash bucket mother is. And I saw a comment. Oh, hi everyone. Hi. Hold on. I saw someone making personal attacks and one of our wonderful, beautiful friends jumped in and then it just was like a trash bucket. I'm not into that. So I just blocked them. And I don't mean this as a threat or anything like, please just behave like, I always say this, like you're in an English lit class or a law class, not on Facebook because I just don't have time for it. It's bad for the mojo. So that's a thank you to our wonderful, lovely friend who defended me. And I love her, you very, very much. And the other thing is I saw the same woman who had four, of you, four followers and just created her account like a week ago. So I don't know if the other mothers are smarting up, but that was not a very smart move. The show Water Mothers, they, that crew. Um, they said that they're so sick of this Stacy Chapin 2AM comment. Well, because 
I have done hours of research with our lovely, beautiful friends. Um, I'm not going to bet a million dollars, but I'm going to say that she made that statement prior to the police released anything. So I find it highly suspicious that this mother is calling 2 a.m. the darkest hour before the police are. And now she's, I don't know how, I don't remember ever hearing any story, but she clearly says that her kids called her. Kaylee's family found out from, got like through the grapevine and they were very upset. Shocking that that mother wasn't. So I'm not going to die on that hill yet because I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure. So that's that. I just want to check in on the big dogs, the puppet masters who have investments on the line. Just see how they're doing. All right. Well, uh, welcome. If you're in the bleachers, this deck doesn't like to be read in reverse. So I, you'll see me flip it. The very first card we got is an awesome card for us. <laughs> Hierophant. So in this case, the Hierophant has always meant the, light side, the white side. Because of the context of the puppet masters, this may have a different meaning. It's traditional meaning, head of state, tradition. Excuse me. I always call um, Prince Philip, or whatever he is now, King Philip, um, the Church of England. He's the head of the Church of England. So. That might be where we're going, or we might be going light side with the government. <laughs> and I'm going to love every second of it, no matter which way we're going. Okay, so we have a king. I'm going to say, yep. We have a seven. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we have a lot of kings here because we are talking to the organization's Puppet masters. We have two kings and an orphan. I'd say we tapped right in. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep, yep, yep. Okay. So we got two kings, the higher fin. Which I'm just feeling out if that's the white side or we tapped right in. And we have two kings. King of Wands, that's the King of Fire. And the King of Pentacles, that's the King of the Money. Follow the money. We've been saying that since the beginning of season two. Then we have the next cards of significance are death. Hmm. Yeah, we know that. This is very literal. We're in true crime. To oh, I forgot to plug in the, the oh, speaker. I hope you can hear me. I'll plug it in right now. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. I'm going to test it, actually, because I don't want to do this again because we're getting some killer cards. So I'm just going to test it just a second. <laughs> if you're up in the bleachers, don't mind that. <laughs> okay, thanks for holding. I just had to make sure the speaker was working. So what we have here is the death card. And this, if you're in the bleachers and you can see that candle, it's going nuts. Hmm. And this is temperance. I have heard 11-11 um, call this the my Archangel Michael card. And I don't read this deck in reverse, but if I did, it's just a weird thing that the deck has. It's not like I don't read cards in reverse. I do. And I don't, I don't really care. I just honor the decks. This deck straight up doesn't like to be read in reverse. The point is temperance to me especially in when we're dealing with death and money and 
powerful kings, is also the very opposite of Archangel Michael. I don't also, I was taught not to summon he who has shall not be named because I don't really feel like having a meeting with him tonight. Um, but this is the ultimate dark side. He has been called the leader of the earth. He has been called the king of this world. Pretty much everything that you could think of that is not of the late. So I'm going with that because that's how it felt. So we have these kings surrounded by an entity that shall not be named and death. Then we have minions working, working hard for their money. All they do is work, 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 work. And look at the money that they're growing for other people. They party and they do fight their battles for them. Well, that pretty much nailed it on the head. So I'd say that thing has nothing has changed for the what is it, puppeteers of the organization at this moment? I'd say they're sleeping just fine. Nothing has changed for them. They, as, I mean, I guess there's no book that expects it to change, but I'm looking forward to it crumbling and burning down. So why don't we check Ashley's? Deck. If you don't follow Ashley at The Reckoning, I highly recommend her. I absolutely love her. And she has Whispers of the Unsolved True Crime, True Crime Tarot deck. And they're amazing. They kill it. So I'm just going to drop a couple of these and see what it's telling us. Military operation. I'd say so. 100%. Mind control. Yep, I would definitely give them that. Oh boy. Oh my. I will, we got after this stuff, we have military operation. If you're in the bleachers, I'm just organizing these so that Ashley's cards have some space. Mm. We have military operation in mind control. I'd say so. We have love. I don't know what that means in this. Some people might be losing themselves in this organization. Perhaps some of these warriors that are fighting the battles for them. People are trying to run away and escape. This is a man-made disaster. That's totally avoidable. Mm, there's some anger and rage here. There's a hidden key missing. <laughs> oh boy. Here's Epstein. It was just a matter of time. I've been saying that since we did season one part, uh, season two, part one. <laughs> you don't say. Well, this part. Okay, so there's a hidden key missing. <laughs> And it's a man-made disaster. And then Epstein was right behind him. <sighs> I mean, teach their own, whatever you think about Epstein. I can tell you what I think. It doesn't really matter what I think about that whole thing. What I love right now is they're getting called out so hard. So we just did a check-in on the entity. As an organization, the entity, the organization, it's the dark side. I call it that because it has multiple facets of layers hidden behind multiple facets of other things. And I just wanted to check and see how they're doing. And I don't mean trash bucket mother and living roommate. I mean like the big dogs that are making the decisions and calling the shots. And just so that we knew they were here. We got this. We have the Hierophant. This does not mean light side. It does in this reading in general mean the white side. But I think there is a little bit of some ego, probably a lot of narcissism, socio-psychopath, all of that. We also got 
the king of swords. I'm sorry, sorry, king of wands. He's the king of fire. He's the spark that is action. He takes action. We have the king of pentacles. He funds everything. We had death. And we had El Diablo. And I don't mean the devil on number 15. I mean the real deal. We are playing with the very, very darkest side of dark. Which is the good news is, is we put on protection. Everyone watching this is protected. And you can't have darkness with light. So we just bring the darkness to the light. And so the big dogs are here. If you are wondering who they are, and I know it's annoying, but I am not at liberty, liberty to mention it. I just don't want to. It doesn't feel right. And I just go with my gut. Well, intuition. I just listen to my intuition and my angels. They know way more than I do. Then we got our hard workers. They just want to work and get paid. That's it. Just pay me. I don't want to gossip. I don't want drama. I am reflecting on the money I'm making for other people, but I can do it. I don't mind partying. Three of one. This cup or this card in this case is infuriating because this is how they tricked Ethan, tricked him to go to a party. I'm still not really convinced. Well, for I'm not convinced about a lot of things, but what I'm not, I'm not convinced that he was. I don't know when this happened. And this happened in the Delphi case too. Those girls were actually unaccounted for for a week that we found. I have similar feelings about Ethan in this one. Then we have their little minions who will fight the battles for them. They don't have to do anything. They, don't, they, they just call the shots. I would almost think of this as like the Sopranos or something. Like all I can see is like, a fat, rich, old white man sitting behind a desk with his dirty, porky fingers smoking a cigar. It's disgusting. But it reminds me of a mafia type. Okay. So that laid the groundwork, and I would say they nailed it. Then Ashley's cards, military operation. That goes without saying. This is not run by a bunch of idiots. So I'll tell you that right now. It's run, I mean, I would say with military precision. This was wrong, in, if I had to guess. Mind control. Ashley also got this for the girls that were involved in OnlyFans stuff. They're, if, you, if you've done anything, like any research on, um, what's his name? Jimi Hendrix and his dad's connections to California. Oh, LSD. It's the same principles that I can't even remember the name of that operation, but what I do remember was LSD was involved and that's not MK Ultra. That's, I don't know what, I can't remember the operation. So yeah, I would say that's still alive and kicking. We have rage. Well, because we have some pretty unhinged people, not amount, and we might have psycho sociopaths. Oh, it's nice to see they have some feelings. This is a man-made disaster. This came right before Jeffrey Epstein. Mm -hmm. Season two, episode one, will tell you who this big dog is. I think he's one of many, obviously. But that'll give you an idea. Uh, people are trying to run away and escape. Yeah. There's a hidden key. We're missing a hidden piece. There's a piece of this puzzle we're missing. Don't you worry. And love. I don't know what the, well, this certainly is not these psychopaths. And I mean that archetypally, I'm not naming anyone. Oh, and this is all allegedly for entertainment purposes only. Please do your own research. No facts here. I'm just a chick with some cards. I would say that this is like these militant warriors, like they're, they're justifying all of the decisions they're making that is completely disgusting with love. Like they're, can, I think they think they love this organization. Whatever name they're going by today, I have no idea. I could care less because it's trash, um, but there's love. They are in, I would call this in love with this lifestyle opportunity. They do rise through the ranks. The way that we saw it was there are different levels inside the organization. 
So we have like the big, big dogs. There's still not one big dog. Well, maybe there is. I don't know. We didn't find one big dog. We found kind of a group of big dogs. And then there's another group. This could be like the queens. And then we have the knights. And then we have the minions. Um, so they love this idea of working up through the ranks. So I'd say things are just fine for this team. Nothing has changed. They are so far removed. They don't care. They don't even notice. Um, business as usual for this group of psychopaths, archetypally, that run the organization. And so I will call it with that. There's nothing else to read. They're totally fine. Just letting us know they're here by bringing in Death, the King of Pentacles, the King of Wands. That's the spark, the Hierophant. That's like Prince Philip or whatever. I don't even know what they're calling themselves either in England, but this is the big dog. This is the king. This is not the light side. They were showing us through their archetypes, like temperance in reverse to me. Is he who shall not be named. He has been called the prince of this world because he is, or in my opinion. Um, yeah, the big dogs are here and they're good. So with that, I will love you and leave you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Oh, if anyone's confused about how to book, I, someone was confused. And if that link that's in everything, it's literally everywhere in every reading, um, should we just make a comment or something and I'll be sure to reach out to you because if it's confusing, I want to fix it to make it easy. And if it's not, I'm still doing the 2222 express reading for 15 minutes. And I'll make sure that the link is right. It goes straight to a calendar. You can just get on the schedule. And with that, I will love you and leave you. Thank you for coming and happy.